Yeah, so speed ray reflections, but sometimes glass doesn't render perfectly from all room scenes. So Brad asking about um, getting these reflections, like uh, using multiple reflection control balls. And, and there's no real way to do that. You only get one reflection control. Um, and so, you know, to understand what that reflection control is doing, you know, if you if you see the reflections in the glass right now, um, they're, they're just based off a fixed point. So I can go to my objects and under place mode and um, oh, what is it? Uh, it's not effects, it's lights and utilities and utilities and here's my reflection control. All right, so then I can place my reflection control here. When I click, watch what happens to the reflections in the glass. See, it changed. And so then, you know, I can move this up. Um, but, you know, I, I gotta tell you, this this is like, I, I just don't even rely on this in any way. You know, the reflection control, it's basically like shooting an image in every direction and then using those images as the reflections. Um, it just doesn't look good. So I just use reflection planes like I showed you and then also speed ray reflections. And and in my opinion, that, that gets you there, you know? Like if you add your reflections to this glass, I mean, it's gonna look good. So, um, and uh, let's see, okay, this is where you run out of reflection slots. Yeah, so Enrique, great question about running out of these slots. So. Let me show you a little trick, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to de de <laughs> demonstrate this exactly the way I want to. So let me try zooming in, all right. And so when I look at my reflections, all right, the reflection threshold is, it, it's like the reflection plane is on the glass, right? And so, if I dial up the reflection threshold, it's catching like more stuff in the reflection as far as like, and this is my understanding of how it works, is like the the plane is, is it's catching more stuff that's parallel to it. So like that one reflection plane is gonna work on this, uh, this face, this face. I just don't have a good way of, of like demonstrating that with this model, but um, that's what I would, I would just dial up your reflection threshold. Um, and then, um, and then just be selective with your reflection planes. I mean, you don't have to have a reflection plane everywhere. I mean, you you can use speed ray for sure, and um, and then just you know the the major surfaces like the floor, and the big glass walls. Um, but yeah, you know it would be cool if we could have twenty. But like then you know you're gonna bog down your machine. And I think the reason for that is just to kind of keep you in line and. If you add 20 reflection planes, it's really gonna slow things down.